okay so previously we had seen that how to set up open data cube and uh, how to index sentinel2 data into uh, postgres database using stack api so now that is cool but uh, so now what we want to do is we want to log in or we want to log into our uh, postgres database without even logging to the machine so we want like client based uh, access to our database directly so for that we need to modify our postgres database uh, we have to change our uh, ip in the database configuration and also open the port uh, on our uh, aws machine as well so once that is done then we can connect to uh, postgres database from our client side maybe pg admin or whichever client application you have so to begin with let us log in to the database and uh, once we are logged in we can uh, check we can check we can first activate the environment odc env we can check the current configuration of the database by just typing data cube system check uh, you would see that our host currently is localhost we have to change that to our ip to our uh, public ip so to know the public ip you can either go to your uh, uh aws machine and then check there or aws also provides one endpoint so this endpoints uh, lets us view our ip public ip so you can see here this is our public ip so this public ip we need to change by going into the database configuration file which is at dot data cube dot conf and then uh, change the localhost to our ip so up to this point we have modified uh, uh, settings in open data cube postgres database so now we have to change something which is specific to postgres itself so we have to change two configuration files one is um, hba file pg hba which is located at etc directory so this directory if you go in and uh, HBA is host based authentication. So what we have to specify at the end is who are allowed to connect to this database. So we just have to specify our hosts. Host in the sense uh, it matches the TCP IP connection. Database is which database you want to connect to. And here is users, which users can connect, which users can, can the client connect. Here you have to specify the address from which users can connect to. So which uh, user can connect. So this is like uh, anywhere in the world. And then last is uh, authentication uh, user credential or something. So if you go to the documentation, here is specify. So you see host is uh, connections attempted meet with tcp ip and at the end you would see auth method so it is an authentication method basically so we have to specify all these and then save it so once this is done next we have to change configuration file again in postgres config file to allow so basically here we would tell which ip would uh, our database respond to so here we have to change the listener address to not just localhost but everywhere okay so these two changes are done and then uh, now if we try to check data cube system check currently it shouldn't work let's check if it works yeah so it shouldn't work because the valid connection part should not work because we have not opened our port on our EC2 instance. So there is a firewall blocking currently. So we have to open that port. Let us go to our instance. So if connected to this uh, our instance and then we have to go to our security group and modify the settings, the inbound rules. We just need to add our inbound rule to Postgres. I mean add another rule and then give connect from anywhere and save it so once this is done 
and let us exit out of this and then try again so it is saying that uh, there is error maybe we need to restart the server so once uh, we restart i think now it should work all right so this is the last step we had to do once we have made some configuration changes we had to change the setting so all right so this uh, connection is now valid and we are able to connect i mean the settings is all right so the connection is valid so now what we can do we can go to our um, pg client and try to connect on this ip like make a connection to this ip so let us do that okay so uh, uh, now i have my pg admin open and uh, we are on my machine my current machine windows machine and i have this server group and now let us try to connect uh, our, our remote machine uh, postgres database so what we'll do is we'll create a server here give this a name open data cube test and then paste our uh, host name so host name we can copy from here host name is this port is correct maintenance database no need to worry user is postgres password we just have to specify what sort of password we gave for our database all right so these are the connection names and i think uh, this is all is required here yeah and i can i can save and then uh, if you try to open it uh, we already see that both database are visible here and then we can go to our data cube which is the database we require and then our schemas are also visible so we have agdc schema inside this we should have tables all right so so this is how you would uh, just open the port and change the configuration to have uh, to connect to postgres database from client side